Hi everybody, my name is Michelle Ludla and I'm here to make a tutorial for the students at New Canaan High School who want to post a bibliography to the Moodle and then how to download and grade a classmate's bibliography. And we're going to start at the home page and chslmc.org and we're going to go to the Moodle 2.0 and stuff. We can go this way and click on that or we now have an other link right here. We've changed the navigation menu and you can click on that and open it in a new... And here we are at the Moodle. We're going to log in and we are going to scroll down. Make sure that this has two rectangles here and if this is not the project that shows up, the junior research paper, which it should be for most of you, but if it isn't, we're going to use the jump to menu and we're going to choose the junior research paper. Um, I know it says Mr. Gallo, but that's only because it takes the first information on the line, so that applies to all students working on the junior research paper. All right, how to upload your bibliography. This is a little snippet. You need to know how to do this. Post your bibliography here. Once you're on this page, you're going to click Add a new discussion topic. And you're going to put your name in and the topic and you're going to scroll down and click on the browse button. You're going to post a bibliography and then you click post to form. Now I want to warn you guys it takes a half an hour for something to actually be posted officially on the Moodle. You have 30 minutes to pull it back. If you go in and you don't see it there check back in a half an hour and it should have appeared. Um, so that's how you post a bibliography. You now that you've posted your bibliography, you need to go grade somebody's. And what you're going to do now is open one, print it, and then grade it using the online bibliography evaluation form. This is something that we created specifically for this task. At this point, we are going to go to post your bibliographies here and click on that link. And we are going to look at Mike's post and let's say that's the one you want to grade so you're gonna to have to choose one that hasn't been taken so there will obviously be more than just three but this is what we have for today so Mike has posted as a as a rich text format which is actually very good um, his bibliography and we're gonna to reply to that before we grab it we're gonna reply saying and there you go you have to write your name so we know who's got it and we're gonna post it to the form so we're going to continue and now we are going to grab Mike's research paper and here we have Mike's bibliography so I'm, we're going to print it I think that's probably the easiest way to do this is if you have a hard copy of the bibliography in front of you we're going to close Word and I am back to the Moodle so now I have posted, there's where it says I am grading this one from Michelle Ludela. It says that right under Mike. So the next person who comes by can see that I've got Mike's bibliography. The last post was here. Now, and there's a reply. So the fact that it's taken and that there is a reply will indicate that that is not available for grading. So when you come into the Moodle, you're going to have to look to see what has a zero here and that there are no replies. Let's go back to the project and it says here in huge fat letters, click here to access online bibliography works cited evaluation form. We're going to open this. We're going to open that in a new tab and we have a bibliography evaluation form. Now the bibliography evaluation form is what you will use when you are actually looking at this bibliography. So. It asks you some odd questions like, I want to know how long it takes you to do this. And because we're piloting this right now with just a small number of classes, um, we're kind of using this as a guideline so that we can really flesh it out next year with a whole large group of kids. Um, so we're going to fill out this whole form. And this will kind of walk you through the step. First eight questions are really about the layout of the whole page. And then the following questions are really more about this minutia of the citation. You're going to check whether it's yes or no. And then when you're done, you click submit and it will kick into a database and then I'll have a record that A, you 
graded a bibliography, B, what grade you assigned to the student, and C, the student's name whose work you graded. Um, so that's how you do that. You now know how to post a bibliography and you know how to grade a bibliography. And of course, if you have any questions, email me at mlutala at mac.com. Thanks. Bye.